Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find perimeter. And remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. So when we find the perimeter of something, we add all of the side lengths. In this video, we'll go through four examples together, and then you'll try two practice problems on your own. Let's jump into number one, where we need to find the perimeter of that triangle. And all we need to do here is add the side lengths. So three inches plus three inches plus three inches. So perimeter equals, and I'm using P for perimeter here, three inches plus three inches plus three inches. Three plus three is six plus three is nine, and this is inches. So the perimeter of that triangle is nine inches. Let's move on to number two, where we have a rectangle. Now here, we can see that the rectangle has four sides, but only two are labeled. So keep in mind, we need to add all four side lengths to find the perimeter. We can't just add the two side lengths that are given that will not give us the total distance around the outside of the shape. We need all four side lengths. So what we can do to make sure we add all four side lengths is label all of the sides. Since this is a rectangle, the opposite sides are the same length. So across from 11 centimeters, this is 11 centimeters as well. And across from eight centimeters, this is eight centimeters too. So for the perimeter, we need to do 11 centimeters plus eight centimeters plus 11 centimeters plus eight centimeters. So perimeter equals 11 centimeters plus eight centimeters plus 11 centimeters plus eight centimeters. And I do want to mention it does not matter what order we add the side lengths in. As long as they are all included, we will get the correct perimeter. For example, 11 plus 11 plus 8 plus 8 will work as well. So as far as adding, 11 plus 8 is 19, plus 11 is 30, plus 8 is 38. So the perimeter here, 38 centimeters. Let's move on to numbers 3 and 4. Taking a look at numbers three and four here, let's start with number three, where we need to find the perimeter of that pentagon. So again, we need to add all of the side lengths. We need to do seven feet plus seven feet plus nine feet plus nine feet plus 15 feet. So perimeter equals seven feet plus seven feet plus nine feet plus nine feet plus 15 feet. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 9 is 23, plus 9 is 32, plus 15 is 47 feet. That's the perimeter, the distance around the outside of that pentagon. Let's move on to number 4, where we have a parallelogram here. So we need to add all four of these side lengths. So perimeter equals six meters plus four meters plus six meters plus four meters. Six plus four is 10 plus six is 16 plus four is 20. And this is meters. So the perimeter here, 20 meters. Lastly, let's move on to numbers five and six, where you will try two practice problems on your own. Here are numbers five and six. And for these, you're going to find the perimeter of both on your own. So have paper and pencil ready. Feel free to pause the video and work through these or let the video play and I'll give you a minute and a half. Feel free to jump ahead to the answers when you're ready. Go ahead and start.
All right, so let's check our work here and see how we did. For number five, the perimeter is 55 inches. For number six, the perimeter is 34 centimeters. And remember, it doesn't matter what order we add the side lengths in. So if your work is different than mine, that's okay. As long as all of the side lengths are included and you got the correct perimeter, that's what matters. So there you have it. There's how to find perimeter. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.